In this video, we're gonna create a 3D model with AI. We're also gonna rig it. So we're gonna create the animation from it. And we will also do some textures to get the best result in our 3D model. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do it too for free. All right, the first thing what you need to do is you need to go to 3daistudio.com. And on the left side, you can see we have image AI. And here we're gonna create our character first. Now keep in mind that this is not free, but during the video, I will tell you how you can get some free credits to try it out yourself. So watch the video until the end so you don't miss this part. Now, first let's create a character by going to image AI. On the right side, I'm going to add my prompt for my character. And you can see my prompt is a character of a fox in a T-pose. And the T-pose part is pretty important because we need a T-pose to get the best animation. So make sure you have a T-pose and all the other stuff is what you want. So if you want, you can copy the prompt. I will put it in the description of the video also. So let's just generate this. All right, I think this looks pretty neat. Let's use this character and create a 3D model of it. Let's go to projects and here you can see our Fox character is here. Let's download this. And then we want to go to image to 3D. And here you can see we can create a 3D model of our image. So let's select another AI model. I want to have regular and let's just browse our file. Here we have some advanced options and what I will change here is I will change the quality to high because I want the best possible quality and all the other stuff I'm going to leave as it is and I'm going to generate a 3D model now. Now we have a 3D model of our Fox character and you can already see it looks pretty cool. Now the next thing what we can do to this character is to texture it. So let's go to projects and here you can see our 3D model and when we click this one you can see AI paint and here we can texture it. On the right side, we have some settings for the texture. And what we need to do here is we need to texture it to get it even better. So let me change the prompt here a bit. I'm gonna write furry fur on the fox. Let's leave all the other settings as they are. We have some advanced settings here, but I'm not gonna change that. I'm gonna generate a texture. And now it's generating a new texture. And on the right side, you will see the example how it looks. And on the left side, we can brush our character with this texture. Now we can change the brush here. Let's increase the brush size here. And when I brush here, you can see I can change the texture of this 3D model. And that way I can really fine tune my character how I want to. Let's also brush the jeans here. And let's keep the shoes away because here we don't see any shoes anymore, so I don't want to brush that. Now let's change the prompt again. Let's say detailed shoes and let's generate a new texture for the shoes. And look at the shoes, they are really detailed now. And let's make the brush a bit smaller here and I'm gonna brush the shoes here because I want to use those. So this is how the texture works. You can really fine tune your character or your 3D model how you want it to. Now once you're happy with your 3D model, you can click on save and it's gonna save it. Now let's go back to projects and here you can see our new Fox. Now here you can see it's a GLB file and we wanna make an FBX file. So let's click on process and then go to remesh and here we can change the file format. So let's select FBX and here you can see the faces. Now the faces is how much detail do you want in your character? So let's increase it to let's say 20,000 and let's remesh it. The remesh is done and now I'm gonna download this generation. All right, the next step is to create an animation. And for animation, we're gonna go to Mixamo. And uh, Mixamo is from Adobe. So if you have an Adobe account, you can use it for free. And here we're gonna upload our character. So remember, we created this FBX file and this file we're going to upload here. So let's click on upload character and I'm gonna drag it here. Now we can rig our character to create animations. Now you can see our character is black now because Mixamo can't really process textures good. So let's go to next and let's set the chin here. Let's do the wrists, the elbows, also the knees and the groin. Let's change the standard skeleton to no fingers and let's click on next. And now it's gonna rig our character so we can create a really cool animation from it. And here you can see our character is rigged and you can already see it's making these movements. Let's click on next. And now we can create the animation. So let's go to animations and let's search for anything, let's say drunk. 
we can make this fox look drunk so i'm gonna select that one and now you can see the example how it looks now because it's all black you can't see it pretty well yet so let's download this and let's go into blender so let's go to file and select import fpx file and let's import our fox and here is the animation of our fox and you can see how fast we created a 3d model we did some textures and we created the animation and it was all done in a couple of minutes to get some free credits for 3d ai studio simply go to the discord server and ask some free test credits and they will be happy to give you some to test it out for free so thanks for watching this video if you want to see more ai videos make sure to check out one of my other videos until then catch you on the next one